Welcome to the Vectria server. This is Stash, and we are standing here at the decked out entrance, or at least one of them. I am going to walk through how to play decked out. Uh, just give me a few seconds here. All right. So first off, I'm just going to pick a room. Uh, any player that plays game will pick a room. Change this out. I'm going to temporarily steal this room as mine. Name it. Come in here, grab your decked out card box if you have a decked out key. If not, you can just grab your, keep your card box in your chest or in your ender chest. Um, you're able, you can decorate this room if you want. Uh, only thing that I say is leave this alone and uh, I'll talk about this later. This is just, uh, this is for the auction. Um, so I got to do still the wiring for all that. Uh, well, set up the lamps anyways. Uh, but yeah, let's go down and talk a little bit more about other things here. Go over here to the store. I have these five items currently on sale. This is empty, but I have these five items for sale. Prices are located up here. You just put the amount of soul coins inside the barrel here and out through this black carpet here will pop out your well whatever you buy so these are all consumables you can use in the dungeon the keys are get in the dungeon these ones here you can use inside the dungeon itself um, these are only things that are allowed inside the dungeon anything that you buy in the store is allowed in the dungeon itself this here, where this red lantern is, inside the shop, is where you return all your empty shulker boxes. Um, and this is the trade-in station for all the trade-in stuff, so plushies or cards or whatever. Just uh, hopefully you can uh, just read the signs here, and it basically tells you what you need to do. Um, currently, this is, I have a bat head I threw on the auction uh, just for the head games. Because right now I don't have anything for decked out. It just started to put on the auction. Um, eventually there'll probably be books, keys. Uh, some of the consumables will be on the auction. So just keep in mind, keep your coins available for your auction needs. Uh, we'll hop down here. And most people will probably see pumpkins if you don't have the plushy... Uh, is it called data pack or um, not data pack resource pack there you go uh, plushy resource pack loaded if you have it loaded you'll be able to see all these guys in their glass cases these are all the collections you can get each completed collection will get you one point um, I haven't added the scoreboard, but it will probably either be right on this wall here, or I will find a location for it um, somewhere. <laughs> it might be down in my extended area, which is going to be here. So let's go down a little further and down into the dungeon itself. This long stairway past the plushies is where you get into the dungeon itself. And this here I talked about before on my last video I had on decked out. This is the the key to the key ticker. Um, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. You wait till the light gets to here, and this will pop up, and there will be a button. Press it and through this carpet here. A key will pop up. If anyone's sitting in the throne, um, they have dibs on this. So uh, loot box. You'll get a little box through going through the dungeon. And this one here is really just follow the signs, place your key in the barrel. And I will do so now. That'll pop this door open. It'll stay open. Door's open, somebody's running the game. So don't come in if you if the door is open. Set your spawn. Take off all your stuff. Including your backpack if you don't want to lose it. Keep your card holder on you because you're going to need it. I'm going to 
make sure my spawn is set and I'll sleep through the night. And I will go into the dungeon now. Pick up your compass. It should pop up through the floor here and I might have to make sure I have enough. I should have enough in there. You'll need that for the dungeon itself. And let's start the game. Place your shulker box in there, press the button, it goes there, and the game has started. I did make this a little bit tougher. Let's see how... I don't have my volume on. Um, so this might be interesting. Maybe I should turn that on. Let's just kind of hide here real quick and turn my sounds on. Oh, that's way too much. Did I put one in this hallway? No, it shouldn't be in the hallway. It's above me. Alright, well, let's see if I can get upstairs. There was a few Ravagers around here last time. I was watching somebody else play. There's one right there. Hopefully I gave him the slip. Oh boy. Ah! Did not give him the slip. Alright, cool. That's the room I need to be in, too. Oh, I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm horrible at playing my own game. I don't know if you saw me or not. I don't think he did. It's in that back corner there, but he is. All right, it should be. Okay, I look for other things right now, but I am, I am truly scared of where this guy's at. Oh, he's right there. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> uh -oh. All right, after my heart leaves my throat here, <laughs> oh, that was actually kind of scary. I'm gonna steal that and end the game. All right. All right. So this stealth book here will go into the decked out card holder, I believe, and I'm not 100% sure. If it's only if 
if it's only up to five cards or if it's only up to three cards. Um, I guess I'll find out when people try to do more than that. Uh, this here is a loot token. This is where you put it. Your car, your key is there. Your loot token is this one. Toss it in there. You get your loot. Uh, and looks like I got Imagineer Scar, Create Mod Scar, XP Crafted, and some Soul Coins. You always get Soul Coins. Um, I may change, eventually change how much Soul Coins you get. Uh, but currently you'll get 16 per box. I, I gotta figure out a better way of like deciding how much Soul Coins you get. I might have to drop that down to something. But if you're done, you'll run up here. You'll place your display them in here. Actually, I can show you a couple because there's actually a couple players already that have played a couple times who have some plushies that they have displayed. So this is Maddie's. And then Panda has hers displayed here and if you get doubles you could either hold on to it and trade it with somebody else or to complete a collection or you can come over here and use the plushie trade in you just put the plushie inside the dispenser here or dropper dropper press the button and out comes some coins or a or a potential key will come out of the top here. It'll just fall down on top of you. So, I think that is all for decked out. Um, if you have any questions, message me on the Discord and go. I'll go from there. Like I said, I'll be adding, hopefully I'll add some rules, maybe. Um, I, I don't know how much room I have where I can put it. Hmm. I'm still looking. Uh, I might add, like, take a section off here and add a little bit of uh, rules and thank you th cards area or something. I don't know yet. Um, it, the game is up and running. It's still a, a work in progress in certain places. The dungeon itself is done. At least phase one is done. Uh, we'll see how well, when I'll get... Uh, phase two done if I get phase two done, but it is a very playable game right now. So thank you for watching and Hope you have fun playing decked out on the Vectria server That's all